Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming back for another weekly tip. All right, so today's tip is actually on something that you may not have noticed. You, you may have noticed it, but obviously with all the excitement about the new IDX sites last week, um, you may not have actually you know, paid attention to this one that launched as well. All right, so if you notice on the homepage, literally right after the IDX sites launched, this popped up, all right, goals versus actual. So you can actually start goal tracking, all right, very similar um, kind of to how you did, obviously, your CGI goals over inside Connect. All right, over on here, except this is basically way beyond that. All right, you're going to have even more information on what you need to do to actually track everything. It's going to make it very simple for you. The good part is you're setting it now for 2020. All right, it's literally right on the home page as to where you can actually set this, and then we'll have this little information on here to help you out too. Now, this is also going to display under your reports section. All right, so right over here under the reports section, there's a new goals page on there. But to set this up, it's pretty simple. All right, right on here, it literally says it looks like your goals are not set, you know, for 2020. Set them now. So we can literally click on this little set them now link. All right, and then much like everything on here, it's going to give you a Kelly guide. So it's going to take us through four different steps on here. So we'll click on get started real quick. All right, and then it's immediately going to come up here. So it's going to show our profit breakdown on here. It's right? so what the annual profit goal is, what the monthly profit goal is. Obviously, the difference between the listings and buyers on here, average commission. So in this case, you know, for step one, what year are you setting goals for? This is a simple one, only one option. So we're going to do next year for 2020. All right, and then on here, you can actually put inside, all right, what's your annual profit goal on here? All right, are you trying to make a million dollars? All right, what's your average commission? So let's just say the one that usually a bunch of people go after. All right, so we're looking to make, you know, $100,000 in profit on here. All right, so in this case, that's what we want to profit. And then for here, we can put inside our average commission, our operating expenses, cost of sales as well. All right, so in this case, uh, I don't think the operating expenses are gonna be that expensive. So let's take this down. I'm gonna say, let's say, oh geez, 5,000. All right, and then on here, our cost of sale, 5,000 as well. We'll just make that easy on here. All right, and then in this case for the average commission, this is gonna be dependent on your market, obviously. And of course, if you don't know, you know what they're asking for, you can always hover over the ion here for the information. All right, so this one is obviously the average amount of commission you earn for the sale of each transaction. All right, so everyone's market's going to be a little bit different on here. All right, so let's say, you know, I always like to use this one as an example. You're selling a $300,000 home, 3% commission. We're looking at about $9,000. All right, so I'm going to say that's the average on here. Not $90,000. That'd be really nice. All right, and then once again, operating expenses. Expenses that are made whether or not a transaction takes place. Salaries, lead generation, marketing. All right, cost of sale on here. Expenses that are made when a transaction takes place. Split to agents, transaction coordinators, everything of that sort. All right, so obviously you can go through and adjust this however you want to. And then you can also specify on here, what's your percentage of listings. So if you purely do listings, you can make this 100 and you can make that zero. All right, and whenever you actually adjust it over here, if you notice, it automatically adjusts on the right too or vice versa. All right, so I'm going to say 50-50 just to keep it simple. All right, I'm going to say save and continue on here. So we've got our goals set. All right, now we can actually set our conversion rate. All right, so now we've got our little funnel coming down here. All right, so now we've got our activities leads, contacts, appointments, appointments kept, agreements under contract and closed units in order to get our profit that we want to make that year. All right, so once again, starting at the top of the funnel, we have our activities on here, all right? The actions you're taking to capture leads. All right, this obviously could be any type of, you know, geez, are you doing open houses? Are you doing door knocking? Are you doing digital marketing? Are you doing, uh, geez, you know, postcard mailouts? Whatever it might be. All right, then on here for the leads, people have shown interest in the service you offer but haven't engaged in a two-way conversation. Contacts, obviously people that you've engaged with in this case. It right, could even be your sphere of influence, people that are leads that you're now you know, conversating with. I think that's the proper terminology for it. Is it conversing? I think it might be conversing. I don't know. I need to look that up. All right, appointments set. Now, obviously, you've actually scheduled a meeting with them. Appointments kept on here. Right, you're scheduling with them and it actually takes place. That's the big one. Obviously, you know, you have your set appointments, things happen, you might have to reschedule it or it may unfortunately never come to fruition. All right, so in this case, you can actually put inside your ratio on here, all right, for your conversion. So if you notice, the rate in which you're turning leads into clients. So this is where that funnel really turns down on here. All right, then, of course, you have your agreements on here as well. And then, of course, under contract at the end of the day. All right, so if I scroll down a little bit further, then we can see close units on here too. Transaction between a buyer and seller that have taken place. All right, so you can change any of these ratios on here completely up to you. All right, so I'm going to save this and just continue. So I'm going to leave it as is. All right, so now I say review my goals. So review your new goals. You can always go back to reports to make changes and review your progress. All right, so this can't be changed anytime. So in this case, in order to make $100,000 in 2020, 
All right, my actual annual profit goal is 91%, my cost of sales is 5%, my expenses is 5%, so I really need to estimate about 110,000 in GCI. Now, obviously, for the expenses on here, that might be a little bit different, or the cost of sales, you know, especially depending on your market center, obviously, what might need to be paid back to them, back to KWRI, what you might actually be paying for marketing budget or for any type of salaries. All right, this is just a very basic overview, just to make sure you guys can go through and tweak this so you can be prepped for 2020. All right, it's only two months away. All right, so it's pretty cool on here. You can actually get an idea as to what this will look like. So now if I click on what's next, for the normal, you can actually set up smart plans. So if you really want to start lead generating right away, we can put our contacts on smart plans, specifically any leads we may have, any contacts, our sphere of influence, past clients, whatever it might be. All right, we can go to reports on here, which is what we're going to do next. Or, of course, you can always see this on the home screen, too. So if I click on view my goals on here for go to reports, voila, this is what our goals section is going to look like. All right, so right up here, Two months, four days, 12 hours, all right, until this is actually live for 2020. It's very shocking how quickly 2019 has ended on here. All right, but now we can actually see here's our goals versus actuals. So the cool part about this is it's kind of like your opportunities, all right? So in the opportunities, you're able to keep track of when someone's a lead all the way through their entire sales pipeline to when they actually close, all right, and anywhere in between. This is going to help you out with the exact same thing, too, to see what's working in order to access that. So now we can actually see our annual goal, all right, how many activities do we need to do to reach how many leads we need, to reach how many contacts we need, appointments set, appointments kept, agreements under contracts, closed units, in order to reach our goal, in this case, of $100,000 in profit for 2020. All right, we can actually see our profit check, or sorry, tracker on here. I guess checker is another word for it, too. All right, we can see our activities breakdown as well. All right, our goal conversion over here once again. All right, and then, of course, our GCI breakdown, too. All right, so this is a nice way to actually just go through and get an idea of, you know, hey, this is what we actually need to reach in order to get X. All right, so this is a great way to actually keep track of your profit, keep track of what you need in 2020 to be as successful as possible. So now that it is almost November, today is October 27th, now it's almost November, this is the perfect time to get prepped. All right, get that year-end budget set, obviously put inside your goals for next year so you can make the most of 2020. Obviously, everyone comes out of the gate in January prepped and ready to go. But we want to make sure that once January ends, February continues, March, April, May, June, all, right, all different months, you know, all 12 for 2020, that you're on track. Right? And obviously, some months are going to be a little bit lower. Some months will be higher. It should average out. But make sure that you're on track to get that budget of your profit that you'd like on here. All right? And of course, you can always click on goal settings up here at the top right, too, to go back through the Kelly Guide to reaccess that immediately. Now, this page that I'm currently on right now, just to give you a heads up, I'm going to exit out of this real quick. All right, we're on our reports page. All right, so if I click on reports, this is where we can see the dashboard, we can see the reports, and here's that new one for goals up here too. There you go. All right, so you got two months, four days, and 12 hours since this video was made on October 27th. All right, so make sure you get this completed before December 31st, right? Ideally, you'll have this completed before the end of November, all right, or maybe, you know, obviously mid-December at the latest. All right, but get prepped for a great 2020, and this is a fantastic new tool that will help you out tremendously to make sure that you're on track to make 2020 the best year possible. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.